I want to thank everybody who is working hard here in this line. I know we did almost 700 tests yesterday. We'll probably do more than that today. Uh, I am here to welcome our National Guardsmen who are helping us out in this difficult moment for uh, our state, for uh, those uh, of, of the members of our community who are concerned about uh, COVID-19 and making sure that we are all staying safe. We cannot thank you enough for being here. Uh, we know that this is a burden on you and your families, uh, and we appreciate you so much for everything that you are doing to help us take good care of our Kansans. Uh, and I also want to thank and welcome uh, Governor Asa Hutchinson for his support in allowing the Guardsmen to come join us today. And I'm going to ask uh, Governor Hutchinson to please say a few words. Uh, thank you, Dr. Patterson, and I want to thank uh, Lieutenant Colonel Phillips, who's uh, with me today, uh, for a quick response when I ask uh, the National Guard to come and assist uh, in testing. And here uh, in my visiting with Dr. Patterson, but also with the uh, nursing staff here, uh, they wait in line for over an hour to come through these uh, testing lines. Sometimes it's longer than that. Uh, but they're willing to do it because it's so critical to know what they need to do for their own health and their family's health. So testing is a critical part of our response to COVID, uh, particularly the Omicron challenge that we currently face. Uh, last night I talked to someone who had a, uh, a daughter uh, who went to a testing site in another part of the state and they saw the long line and got discouraged and left. We don't want that to happen, and we want to be able to have the testing available for our Kansans. It was important for me to come out here to see the National Guard supporting uh, the efforts of our incredible health care staff here at UAMS, and they're going to make a real difference in the coming days. And the reason I wanted to see it is to measure uh, whether this uh, can be helpful in other parts of the state. Uh, but I'm very grateful and want to express my appreciation, uh, Colonel Phillips, to you and your team that's here. And uh, I know that anytime we need help like this, uh, the National Guard is there. And uh, this is very, very critical for us. Uh, so thank you, Dr. Patterson. I will say you're the first one to call and say we need some resource help. Uh, we wanted to respond very quickly to you. But this testing side is critical for us. Uh, it will make a difference as we get through this Omicron and the current challenge. In talking to uh, the staff here, uh, two years ago when we started this, or a year and a half, we never thought we would be doing it now. Well, we are, but I do have a hope that uh, we get through this over the next month and uh, we can look in the rear view mirror on this, but it's a challenging time for our state and it's great to see everybody pulling together uh, to make sure we respond appropriately to those that have a COVID concern. Uh, Colonel Phillips, did you want to, you good? All right. Patterson. So again, thank all of you for uh, uh, making this happen. Uh, this is uh, the right thing for us to do. And uh, I echo uh, Governor Hutchinson's words. Uh, we hope that Omicron fades quickly. Uh, and we can get back to more normal business, but in the meantime, we've got to do the best we can for people of Arkansas. So thank you all for being here.